Hey guys, this is CMD Trigun, and welcome to my review of X-Men Origins Wolverine for Xbox. The first thing I'm going to go through is character customization. When you pause the game, there's a character tab that you can open to reveal four different categories. Namely, skills, mutagens, reflexes, and fight moves. When you kill enemies in the game, you get experience, and when you get enough experience, you level up. Leveling up gets you skill points, which you can then spend on skills. The skills on your skill list at the start of the game are not the ones that you are limited to by the end of the game. Uh, your list will expand more and more as you level up. Personally, I went ahead and upgraded claws as quickly as possible to maximize damage with all my moves. Next up is your mutagens tab. Mutagens are hidden items that you can find throughout the levels that give your character added bonuses such as resistance to damage or increased health. You start out with only one mutagen slot but it will quickly expand to three as you play through the game. Your reflexes tab shows how many of each type of enemy you've killed and supposedly increases your skill of fighting each type of enemy as you kill them. I haven't really found it to affect my playing style much, so I wouldn't worry about reflexes too much. Lastly is your fight moves tab. This is just a list of all the moves that you've acquired throughout the game, and it's good to go refer to if you're stuck on a difficult boss. Now that I got the boring stuff out of the way, I'm going to talk about feral senses, secret collectibles, and combat. Using feral senses is a very key part of the game. The first thing it helps you with is figuring out where to go. If you press up on the d-pad, your feral senses will activate, and things lit up in green uh, will guide you to where you need to go next. Another way it helps is in combat. If you see objects that are lit up in green, that means that these objects can be used to efficiently kill your enemy. Here I grab an enemy and throw him against the wall, skewering him. Barrel senses can also help you detect enemies that have cloaked themselves from vision. Lastly, barrel senses help you detect traps, lighting them up in red. You'll want to use feral senses on most of the African levels when you're traveling down narrow corridors because there are traps at about every turn. There are several key collectibles aside from mutagens that are worth a lot more than achievement points in the game. One of the collectibles you can find hidden on the levels are action figures. There are different action figures for different Wolverine costumes, and when you find action figures, you unlock a bonus tab on the main menu where you can fight another Wolverine wearing the costume you want to unlock and if you defeat him you unlock that costume. You can play with any unlocked costume at any time during the campaign. Another good collectible to look for are dog tags. Dog tags can be found on fallen enemies that are lit up in yellow. When you collect a dog tag you receive 500 experience points initially but as you collect more and more you get more experience, helping you level quicker. Last but not least, I'd like to talk a little about combat. While every player has his own fighting style, there are a few things that are important to remember. First, lunging is God. By holding right button to target and then pressing left button, Wolverine will lunge at an enemy uh, up to a ridiculous range. And uh, the only stipulation is that you have to be on a certain height level with them. Especially on regions where you're in a large forest and you're surrounded by 10, 20, 30, 40 enemies, lunging can get you around quickly to every enemy without getting hit by a single bullet. The other thing that's important to remember is quick killing. If you grab an enemy by pressing B and then wait a second, you can press Y to perform a quick kill. When you press Y, Wolverine will bring his claws back, and then when you see the glint on his claw, you hit Y again, performing a quick kill. Some enemies take more than one quick kill before they die, but uh, most of the standard troops die in one quick kill, so be sure to keep this in mind and use it often. Here, I just wanted to show you guys what the first mini-boss looks like, just so you can see some action in the game.
This golem is rather easy to take down as long as you avoid his heavy hits and lunge at the right time. Let me just add at the end here that the game is M, so it's very gory. I was quite surprised, but uh, it looks very beautiful when you when you're playing the game. Uh, all the environments look great, and the combat sequences are great. Uh, all the violence really adds to it, and uh, it's a really cinematic feel. So you'll really get to see all the graphics at work uh, in and out of combat. So. Definitely, if you're skeptical, rent the game, because I know games are really expensive now. Uh, but I hope this has persuaded some of you to go out and get the game, because I bought it, and uh, I really enjoy it. I hope this helps anyone who's playing the game right now. Um, I didn't want to give away too much, because I didn't want there to be any uh, real spoilers, but if you're having trouble on any boss, uh, since I've already beaten the game, I'd be glad to help you.